Hi, my name is Merlin and I work at Ardman. At Ardman, we make animated films and in this series, I'm going to show you how you can make animation at home. So far, we've looked at where an idea comes from, sets and props, what we can use to make a character, and today we're going to look at cameras and lights. I think it'd be fun if we went down and had a look at some of the big cameras and lights that we have in the studio floor at Ardman. Come on, let's go and have a look. Okay, so I'm on set and this is our camera crew. Hi guys. Hey. Uh, they are getting ready. You see, uh, the light is absolutely huge. These lights are really powerful, but they're great because they put so much light on the set, we can see everything we want to see. Here we've got one of our cameras. It's really quite large and very complicated to use, but it's what we need to use in the studio to get the, the films looking as good as they possibly can be. Thanks for letting me stop by, guys. See you soon. Cheers. Whew. Well, as you can see, the cameras and lights we have down in the studio are really big and they take up so much space. So we need to look at what the alternatives are. There are many different camera options that may be available to you at home. You could use a phone, a tablet, or a laptop. Today, I'm going to be using a tablet device. So this is my tablet, and we're going to be using an animation app. There are lots of different animation apps that are available. And don't forget, you must always get permission from an adult before you download any apps you want to use on a smartphone or tablet. And so the idea is to get your camera in a place where you can see everything that you want the camera to see. My camera is really wobbling all over the place. So what I need to do is find a way of stopping my camera from falling over and wobbling all over the place. And I think the easiest way to do it is to get a load of storybooks and put them down. You want some sticky tack and put a blob on the table in two places and that is what your camera is going to rest on right there. And you can just gently squidge your camera, I'll move that one, and then I'm going to hold that with one hand and gently slide the books up to hold it. Because when we do animation, we need to touch the screen of the tablet device in order to take frame. And when you touch the tablet, it may just move a little bit. So we're trying to stop that happening. And that's why we're using the sticky tag. Now I've got my camera in place. I'm just going to move my background. I'm just going to lower my clouds a little bit. And this is where I start to bring it all together. If you remember when I was talking about ideas and where they came from, I created a storyboard. So I'm just going to check back on my storyboard to remind myself of what I wanted to do. I was going to have the little guy already there and the big guy was going to walk in. Little guy was going to go, achoo! And the big guy was going to fly out a shot like that. So I'm just going to check that all of that is achievable in the frame I've got here. So I'm going to check that. So little guy will already be there. Big guy will walk in. Little guy will go, achoo! And the big guy will fly out of the shot like that. So I can actually do that. What I'm going to check now is the lighting. It's really important that you remember to get help when using a lamp, to plug it in, help turning it on, and also when you're using it, because these lamps get really hot after a while. We can see quite a lot with our eyes, but cameras don't see as well as we do. This lamp that I've got here, actually, if I turn it off, makes everything go a bit dull and a bit flat. So having a light really, really helps. So I can turn my light on, and actually, if you look at your screen and move the lamp around, make sure that your lamp is outside the shot. I quite like the lamp being over here, looking across the shot. It makes it feel kind of nice. It makes the, the big guy stand out a bit from the background, and it gives the characters a bit of shape. Have a play with your light, make sure that it works, and make sure that your light is nice and stable as well. You don't really want it in a place where you might accidentally knock it. So for me, over here, it's nice and clear from where I want to work. It's lighting the characters, and it's not in the shot. So that's your checklist. Today I looked at cameras and lights, and we've done all the groundwork. Next time the really exciting stuff starts, it's animation time. And remember, animation is such good fun. Anyone can do it. It doesn't matter how young or how old you are. 
The secret is, is to get stuck in and have fun doing it. See you next time. Bye.